I was seen. I actually had the opportunity to get seen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Paloma. Today I am auditioning for the national tour of Wicked, but not only that, it is also the open call for the Broadway's production of Wicked. Yeah. I think we go all natural hair today, ladies. We have made it. I am back. I am hungry. I am hot, but we are back. I did a quick stop at Jersey Mike's on the way home, so I do have a Jersey Mike sandwich calling my name. I did not have the opportunity to have any snacks while I was waiting for the past five hours. I left my lunchbox in the car. Um, first things first, number one. That's number one. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. What a day of waiting. One of the biggest jobs as an actor is the waiting game. Like there's a lot of waiting involved, waiting for auditions, waiting for callbacks, waiting to hear back if you got cast, waiting when you're on set for the camera to be ready, waiting, waiting, waiting. As an actor, our job is to just wait and be ready for when it's time to go, which today's open call for Wicked was for singers between the hours of 10.30 and 2.30. And I arrived at 9.30 and there was already a line out the door like like absolutely which they did say please don't arrive prior to 10 so like I was really really trying to like get there around that time so I could park but people were already there people had literally took like chairs to like pop open it was very like American Idol vibes there was line out the door line all the way around this is my first time attending a Broadway call or a national tour call so this was all so new to me I had no idea what to expect when I got to the line it was 9 50 so I was waiting there for a little bit and then someone started saying oh there's like a check-in and I was like oh we're supposed to check in first and then get in line so I was like oh dang like let me go check in so I left my place in line and went all oh, kept walking down down then made it to the front and they were like, oh no, like there's no sign in sheet, like you just have to get in line. And I was like, what? A lot going on, it was a lot of word of mouth. Actors were arriving not really knowing what to do or where to go, like just seeing the huge line and assuming to get in the back. And there was like a little bit of rumors of like an unofficial list going around. I'm sure that's for equity people. This was a non-union and union call. I'm not a part of the equity, but I am a part of the sister union, which they call, which is SAG. So I'm with the SAG union, which is for screen. So it didn't really help me here. Like I didn't have any priority in the line or anything like that. So I tried to sign in, but they were like, no, we're not doing that anymore. Just get in line. So I was like, okay. It was 10 in the morning and the line had not moved just yet and people were just coming in and coming in and coming in. And actors that had people driving them, they literally were just like opening the door and getting out of the car and jumping into the line. Like, today, there actually was an eclipse and someone had like these solar eclipse glasses to view, taking them down the line and passing it so everyone could see what the eclipse was. So I did have the opportunity to look up at the sun today and see the eclipse, which was so cool. And it just felt very bonding and so theater. Like, of course, we're out here like, oh my God. It was so nice to be surrounded by like like-minded people, really excited about the opportunity to audition for a big production like like this and just like talking about how we're excited for the wicked movie i'm not afraid it's the wizard who should be afraid of me <laughs> so the hours just go kept going by and by and we were slowly making our way and then we reached the two and a half hour mark and I was like, I have to pee so bad. Like I cannot hold it anymore. And there was like no way to go into the office. Like there was just so many people. So that was not possible. So again, word of mouth, all the actors in the line were like, there's this place that has empanadas right next door. Go get an empanada and go use the restroom. I did my quick little bathroom break. I made it back to the line. And unfortunately it seemed like we had still not moved and I could still see the front of the building. Like we're still getting there. We're still getting there. Getting closer, not there yet. Hours for you. 
So then 1.30 rolled around and that's when it started getting it a little dicey because everyone's parking meter started expiring. Mine had expired at 12.30 and I was already like, my meter is expired. I really hope they're not towing or anything like that. Do I run quickly, go right now to put more coins? Like I might miss the opportunity because we're so close to the front. So it was starting to get down to the wire of like, oh my gosh, are we also even gonna be seen because it's 1.30 and like, are they gonna cut this cutoff at 2.30? We don't know. And so people started like going to their cars to go put their stuff in. Some people did not come back. Um, and I was just there and I remember it hitting about two o'clock and I could see the front of the door. It was so close and I was like, I am so stinking close. And if I leave right now, like it's gonna be too late. So I was talking with my friends there in line and many of them were like, oh, like I'm just accepting that like I'm getting a ticket and like it is what it is. And I remember in that moment just being like, you know what, yep. I have gotten a ticket, it's too late, we're here, and we're just gonna make the most of this moment. And all of us were joking like, what we do for love. We finally get close enough to the front door where we start seeing someone passing out paperwork and we're like, okay, great, great, great. Just that basic paperwork of like, what's your name? What's your email? How'd you hear about the audition? And of course, we were not in an office or had tables, so we had to actor it out and use our book that we use to store all our music as a back to write on it and we're asking for pens, we're filling out information and then we start getting closer and closer. It's approaching 2.30, which by the way, 2.30 was the cutoff. And I was like, oh my gosh, well, I'm already in line. I already have a piece of paper, so I'm gonna be seen, like, right? Like, I made it, right? I have, okay, I'm not inside the building just yet, but I feel like I'm gonna be seen. I got my paper, we're getting closer. And then they started like naming, counting us off. And then in groups of 10, they were letting us into the building. And then we got to the top, turned in our paperwork. And then there was another holding room up there at the top. And then when you got in there, it was <laughs> is where it all started being a blur. It was just very quick in and out. By the time you got into the building, it was like, okay, here's the following names. This is the group you're going into. This is the room you're going in. And inside the studio, they had several different rooms that were hosting auditions at the same time. And so it just depended what room you were sent to and you would go. Like I remember getting in my group and they were like, okay, you guys are all on deck. The first person's gonna go in. When they come out, you go in. The girl in front of me went and then she came back out and said, break a leg and I got my book. I went inside and I said, hi, my name is Paloma. And he said, whenever you're ready, I started singing. And then about mid through the song, he lifted his head up, looked at me and then kept writing. And I was like, oh my God, he's looking at me really quickly. And I remember the brief moment that he like lifted his head from the paper. I was like, drama, you know, like he's looking up at me. Let me give it to him you know which the acoustics on this room oh my gosh i want to sing in that room every single day of my life it was beautiful like you could hear like a pin drop stop singing and i could still hear my voice singing like it was still going on when i walked in and i started singing and realized the acoustics were like really really good i was like oh then we're just gonna sing beautifully and enjoy it it felt very like rushed and i've been in those experiences where it's like the audition process feels so like flustery that like by the time you get into the room you're all flustered and you're not really grounded so I remember when he was like, when you're ready, I just was like, I took a deep breath and was like, I'm gonna take this moment. Like, take that moment. I know you're feeling very rushed and quickly in next person, but like, you waited, let's take this moment. We did that, I finished my song, and he said, thank you so much, and I said, thank you so much, and then the next girl came in right after me before I could shut the door, and we were just out of the room. I haven't experienced anything like this except for when I auditioned for The Voice. It was very much like this, like very cattle call, open call, lots of people, and when I came out, my friend was like still standing there, she's like, okay, I think we're done. Got our stuff, exited the building, and then it was like, crazy like the actors were outside the building like we were just there 10 minutes ago being like hey are they still having 16 cuts like how long are they singing like rumor has it that they're no longer having the whole full 16 so i was like oh no like at least the room that i went into they were still allowing 16 bars people were like oh they were rumoring that we're down to eight which eight bars means is like half the amount of time singing less than 32 bars 16 and then down to eight like it's just because they were still allowing 16 in that moment does not mean that by the time they got up, they were like, sorry, we're running out of time, cut in half, eight bars. I went in at 2.30 and that was supposed to be the cutoff time to start to allow actors to come in. And there were still so, so many people. I'm trying to like, 
I was there since 9.30 and I didn't get seen till 2.30 and the cutoff was at 2.30. So we're starting to wonder like, is everyone gonna get seat outside? Are they gonna send someone out to the end of the line? And if you haven't made it in line at this point, like you can't be seen, or are they not gonna see people past 2.30? Because I went in at 2.30 and again, I checked in at not, like I showed up at 9.30. How is it that like the people since then wouldn't get seen. So I have no idea how long casting is gonna be there tonight. I'm sure they're gonna be there past eight o'clock. I mean, there were so many people and even when I left, it was down the block, down the block, down the block. So, Wow, like I've now experienced it and I know the feeling of like showing up ready to audition and then disassociating and forgetting that we're there for an audition because we're standing and waiting outside for so long that you're like, oh yeah, so what if, oh God, we're here to audition, sorry, let me like touch up my makeup really quickly. Like it was just constant realization of like, oh my God, right, I have to audition soon, sorry. And all the actors just kept saying like, at least it's not raining, at least it's not hundreds and hundreds of degrees. And this is one of those experiences where it's like, get in, get out, you hear back from them, you hear back from them, if not, you don't. Don't. You don't always hear back from casting. They're probably not gonna be sending out an email or any calls. The room that I went into only had one person, wasn't an entire creative team. I'm sure that's what it will be like for callbacks, but for this open call, it was just strictly one person. I just gave it my all and I had such a great time. Every time I go, I leave with a deeper respect and love for theater and I can't believe that I have the opportunity to say that I have auditioned for Wicked, the national tour, and Wicked on Broadway. I even connected with a girl that was there at an open call for the musical Six, and she said that it was even crazier. She said that she showed up at 6 a.m. and didn't get seen till 6 p.m. I'm extremely glad I went today, and it was a great reminder of why I do it and why I love it. I appreciate you guys watching this video and following me along in my journey. Please make sure you're subscribed, following me along on socials, and I will see you guys again very soon.